Top Reasons Why Rules of Pronunciation Are Extremely Important for Teachers Many ESL teachers have never even heard of phonetics or phonology, yet they use these aspects of speech naturally when they speak. Phonetics and phonology are two areas of linguistics that study the sounds of language. Phonetics focuses on individual sounds, while phonology studies the features and combination of sounds. McMahon, 1 3. There are two reasons why ESL teachers need to know phonetics and phonology. First, it helps them to conceptualize English in a way that their students can understand, and second, it helps them to address their students' difficult pronunciation problems. Why Students Suffer From Pronunciation Issues Many students face major challenges with English pronunciation, even after years of study, however, it is given the least attention in the classroom, poor as in Gallic Jenny, 74. ESL teachers often have difficulty making the leap from instinctively using language to teaching it. A study of phonetics and phonology helps to bridge that gap. To teach their students, ESL teachers must first conceptualize the sounds of English for themselves. This includes familiarizing themselves with the sounds and symbols in the International Phonetic Alphabet IPA, chart. The IPE system removes the confusion around English spelling and focuses solely on all the sounds of English, one symbol for each sound. The symbols are then combined to form the phonetic spellings of words, which are included in most dictionaries. This allows teachers and students to look up any word and know its exact pronunciation. Teachers should practice saying each sound until they feel comfortable explaining to another person how the speech organs and muscles operate and how the sound is released, for example, nasal, plosive, fricative, affricative, approximant, etc. If teachers can conceptualize sounds themselves, they are better equipped to help their students do the same. Lack of Subject Knowledge However, the sounds of language are more than just phonetic sounds. Teachers should also study the phonological aspects of language as well. This includes the combination of sounds, volume, pitch, intonation, stress, and rhythms of language to create smooth and intelligent speech. Surprisingly, phonological errors in speech affect pronunciation and intelligibility more than phonetic errors in single sounds, whereas in Gallic Jenny, 78. Phonological sounds communicate personality and meaning, when any of them are off or absent, speech sounds unnatural. For example, text-to-speech technology may read the following text in a halting, monotonous manner, I'm going to get a sandwich ice cream, grata eggs, butter and jam. Actual speech often joins or changes sounds so the words flow better, such as, I'm gonna get a sandwich, ice cream, grata yes, butter and jam. Actual speech may also have a rising intonation on the last syllable of most of the shopping items listed, indicating the list is ongoing, but a falling intonation on the last item, signifying an end. Additionally, Natural speech includes stresses and rhythms to give the sentence a musical quality that makes the list less mundane and easier to remember. Teachers can gain insight into phonological sounds by reading various texts aloud and changing the phonological aspects to convey different emotions, attitudes, personalities, and meaning. By conceptualizing phonetic and phonological sounds, ESL teachers can be armed with greater confidence knowledge, and skill to address the difficult pronunciation issues that their students face. Sound Awareness Pronunciation is much more than just saying a sound correctly, it involves both phonetic sounds and phonological properties to create intelligent speech. Luckily, poor pronunciation is not due to a lack of ability. Young babies are known to babble a whole range of possible sounds not present in their native languages. However, later a language-specific cognitive system sets in that limits sounds to languages they are exposed to in their early years, McMahon, 1 3. This phonological cognitive system is why pronunciation problems exist. Students perceive the sounds in the context of their native languages. 
teachers should be aware of students' native languages and find new ways to help students reconceptualize the sounds in a way that works when speaking English. For example, some students may confuse the labiodental slash V slash with a bilabial slash B slash sound. Teachers can help students differentiate the two sounds by creating new associations for the sounds, such as comparing slash V slash to slash F slash and slash B slash to the slash P slash sound. Both slash V slash and slash F slash are produced in a fricative manner, where the air is forced through the teeth and lower lip. However, slash V slash is voiced and slash F slash is unvoiced. Similarly, both slash B slash and slash P slash are produced in a plosive manner, by putting both lips together and then releasing the sound in an explosive manner. In this case, slash B slash is voiced and slash P slash is unvoiced. By separating slash V slash and slash B slash and linking them to different sounds, students may be able to conceptually see how these sounds differ and have an easier time with correctly pronouncing the slash V slash and slash B slash sounds. Teacher as a Role Model ESL teachers play a major role in helping their students overcome pronunciation problems and improve their English speaking abilities. As teachers embrace and teach the concepts of phonetics and phonology to their students, the students will be able to conceptualize and use the combination of sounds, intonation, stress, and rhythms of English consciously at first, until it starts to flow more naturally. Renowned phonetician Peter Roach explained it perfectly when he compared phonetics and phonology to a car mechanic's knowledge, one can drive a car without knowing how it works, but mechanical knowledge is needed to fix it, Roach, 1-2. Likewise, as teachers understand phonetics and phonology, their understanding of the mechanical workings behind language fluency increases, and they are better equipped to tackle their students' difficult pronunciation problems. Are you ready to take your TEFL course? Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.